Who got the magnets up in here? When a blade got the magnets that are top tier. That rare earth shit. Who straight I admit is more that shit insane than a girl with hairy armpits. Magnets up in your ass, but when a blade does it with class, this black beauty brings the sass. When they become available, you better not pass with your goofy ass. Magnetic automatic, making me feel frank and erratic. I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but it's so fucking nice, I can't help but be a snack. In all black, this shit is monochromatic. This thing so crazy, making me psychosomatic. I am winning since the doctor, the wizard, the king of creativity. Very few can match his integrity, his ingenuity, and his love of whimsy. Whimsy, did I just say whimsy in a rap song? That doesn't sound thanks to whatever. Whimsy, bitch. Got the magnets that are top tier That rare earth shit Who straight I admit Is more that shit insane than a girl with hairy armpits Magnets up in your ass But when a blade does it with class This black beauty brings the sass When they become available you better not pass with your goofy ass Magnetic automatic making me feel frank and erratic I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic But it's so fucking nice I can't help but be a snack In all black this shit is monochromatic This thing so crazy making me psychosomatic I am one the doctor, the wizard, the king of creativity. Very few can match his integrity, his ingenuity. Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back once again. I promised you I would get out here with this review soon, and here it is. This is the revolutionary new M Fire from Winterblade. This is a brand spanking new dual action knife from the mind of Brian Winters. So, Dual action, meaning you can manually open it if you want to, or, oh yeah. Now, if you're thinking, well, that's not revolutionary. People have made dual action knives for years. That's true. But their dual action on the automatic side has always been driven by springs because there's really no other way to do it, right? Wrong. If you're a fan of Winterblade like I am, then you already know that Brian likes to do things with magnets. And this brand new M Fire is fired by very powerful neodymium magnets. And if you're wondering, well, didn't he do that before? Yeah, sort of. He did that with the Mirage. Now, the Mirage was a true assisted opener. It could not be mistaken for an automatic. If you wanted to release it and get it to fire all the way, just by pulling the lever, you would have to kind of angle it down a little bit and let gravity finish the, the move. However, this is significantly different. This one is so strong that it can fire to full lock vertically. <laughs> now, why isn't this classified as a true automatic and why maybe it could possibly be legal in your area if your area doesn't allow automatics? Because it can be called an assisted opener because all the magnets are doing is they're kicking the blade out. But what they actually want to do is they want to suck the blade in. So it's actually a really, really strong detent. So as Brian puts it, it has a bias toward closure. So the magnets, while yes, they certainly do drive the blade outward, they actually, when they get to this certain point where the magnets are working, they want to suck the blade in. Now, if you don't care about all this fancy schmancy magnet stuff, you don't have to worry about it because this can be very easily converted by you to manual, completely non-magnetic. So you would basically at that point have something similar to the Veyron, which is going to be dropping on the same day. So you basically have a crossbar lock right here that's providing the friction against the tang of the blade that will keep it closed and you'll feel engaging when you're opening it. 
this can do the exact same thing. And by the way, yes, once you get used to it, you can manipulate it completely with one hand, opening and closing. You are having to fight a little bit to get it to, to close, but you can do it. Now, as far as sizes go, before I give you the actual specs, many people that know about Winterblade only own a variant of the Factor. So how does this stack up against the Factor? Let's see. It is virtually identical in size to the Factor, except that it's going to be chunkier. Actually, quite a bit chunkier. I didn't realize how much chunkier it is. So if you have a factor and you love your factor and you're thinking, I could really deal with that being a little bit thicker, that would be cool. Then grab yourself an M fire. As far as the way they're going to carry in the pocket, pretty much the same. But again, this is just a little bit thicker, but all the other dimensions are really, really spot on. And to compare it to another one that also drops on the same day on October 23rd, here's the Factor 8, which is the large version of the Factor that's being introduced for the very first time. How does this stack up to that? As you see, just like the Factor, it is considerably smaller than the Factor 8. And I suppose, if since I brought it out here, if we're going to keep comparing stuff. Let's compare this to the Mirage. Obviously, you've got a factor style Warncliffe blade and not the, I almost want to call it a clip point blade, but it doesn't really have that clip point. Is it a drop point? Because it does kind of drop down from the spine. I'll call it a drop point. Much different shaped blade than the Mirage head. Size-wise, virtually identical. Now, one thing I love, love, love about this, and it goes back to the original factors, is the back side is all carbon fiber. So the front side is titanium with a black DLC. The blade is also a true DLC. And again, I will rehash this for those that have not seen other videos where I've discussed DLC. It is not a PVD. This would be a PVD. You notice the difference there? It almost looks like black paint. And here you could see the surface finish of the steel through the black. You can see that it's a belt satin. You have no idea what finish is underneath here. It could be satin, it could be bead blasted, it could be mirrored. That's the difference between a PVD, black oxide PVD, and a DLC. DLC is still applied in the PVD process, but it's a different, thinner, and much more resilient material. So now with this one, while I do enjoy using it as a side opening automatic a lot, there are still times that, I don't know, maybe it's just a little bit of brain confusion. I'll reach for the knife in my pocket and it kind of feels like it's a factor. So I automatically go for the flick. So I tend to flick it probably about as often as I do fire it. And that's a wonderful feature to have being a dual action. Out of all three that are dropping on October 23rd, this is my favorite. This is number two. This is number three. But the M fire is my clear favorite of the three. Number one, I like that it's a little bit chunkier. I don't obviously mind the slimmer nature of these other knives because I love, love, love all my factors. But there's something about the way this feels in the hand in this chunkier form factor that I really, really dig a lot. Let 
get these out of the way. They're distracting. But yeah, October 23rd is a big day. And by the way, it, you're used to hearing a date associated with Winterblade, and that date is always the pre-order date. This is not a pre-order. This is going to be a live drop, live inventory that will be available on winterbladeco.com. So you're going to be able to order either a Factor 8, a Veyron, or an M Fire, and it will ship right after you order it. Now, I think it's probably a good time to get to the specs because the specs are very important on this. Your overall length is a mere seven inches. Now, for a lot of us, eight to eight and a half inches is kind of the EDC size that we're used to, right? Because that's generally going to give you about a three and a half inch blade or somewhat close to that and a good sized handle to hold on to. When we start getting into smaller knives, because we want to have that easier to conceal type of knife or easier to carry, I should say, less obtrusive. It's not often we get to go down to seven inches because a lot of times that's going to end up being too small for utility. And one of the things that I've always loved about Brian's designs is he's always considering utility. I mean, look at the shape of his blades. This is, and I said that in the very first, in the B1 factor video that I did, that I consider this more of a folding or flipping utility knife than an EDC knife. Because it really it kind of has that feeling with how unbelievably th precariously thin that grind is and the shape of the blade. It's very much like a utility knife. And I have used all of my winter blades for a lot of cutting, a lot. And they do extremely well. And they're really good at slicing down thicker materials like let's say you're breaking down cardboard boxes these are excellent for that. And to top it all off, instead of being M390 like we're accustomed to, you're going to be getting into Vanax Super Clean. Oh, yeah. So now you've got a blade that absolutely cannot rust, and it's got a super long edge life to it. That edge retention is fantastic with Vanax Super Clean. Your blade length is two and three quarter inches. They did a great job bringing the grind all the way back and leaving this area without having to do a sharpening notch. Really, really nice design on this. Your handle thickness is exactly one half of an inch from the clip to the show scale. And it weighs only 4.2 ounces. That is going to put you lighter in weight than the new Factor 8. And I did not mean for that to rhyme. I apologize. Now, another interesting thing about this is, as you know, Brian has worked with Best Tech for years, bringing out various models. He's now diversifying just a wee little bit. Still using Best Tech. I think Best Tech was on the Factor 8, if I'm not mistaken. But on the M Fire, I know for certain, and I'm 99% certain he told me that also on the Veyron, these are being manufactured by Kunwu. Yeah. How awesome is that? So if you've never experienced the Kunwu, you absolutely need to. Their quality is fantastic for a newer brand on the market. And they have kind of taken the market by storm with their Padre and Compadre. I did a review on the Compadre just about a month or so ago. It's one of my favorite knives in my carry collection. I think it's fantastic. And I even have it in contention for this year's Knife of the Year for 2024. By the way, sneak peek, this one's also going to be in contention for Knife of the Year 2024. Not only because I love the form factor and I love the blade shape and I love the fact that, yeah, it's, it's innovative, it's smart, it's cool, and it's winter blade, but also because it is truly an innovative design by using magnets to keep the blade closed 
and to kick the blade out is genius. And it had to take a long time to figure out where the magnets needed to go, how strong the magnets needed to be, and all the other engineering feats that go into this. But Brian is never short on engineering Marvel. Oh man, this thing is so cool. It's funny, I thought I had picked out my knife for the day. I'm actually uh, going out because I'm going to go see Terrifier 3. Can't wait, been waiting all year to go see it. And I thought I knew the knife I was going to carry because it's already in my pocket. And now sitting here playing with this, I kind of want this to be the knife that goes in my pocket for today. So in it goes. And that means the video is over because I am eager to get my butt going and get this in my pocket. Thank you guys for joining me as always, and I'll see you on the next video.